Hello everyone. Greetings to you all in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I believe you're doing good. I believe that uh, you are well by the grace of God and you have seen the hand of God work over your life. And I believe that uh, you are waiting for me to come live but due to some uh, cell issues like you know uh, I was not able to. Uh, apologies for coming late and uh, thank you so much for joining click on share button uh, so that uh, it your friends will come to know share on other groups uh, so that uh, they can also join us and uh, to those who don't know me this is Evans Francis from Nagpur India I'm an evangelist into full-time ministry from last 12 years and I believe that today's message is going to bless you and the message which God has given me to share with you I'm going to share with you and uh, if you are going through a hard time in your life, if you are going through a, a circumstance which is not being changed, I believe that God is going to do something new in your life today. Be with me for next 20 minutes and I believe that God is going to do a great thing in your life. And God is going to touch you. He is going to transform you. Above all, He is going to speak with you from His word. And uh, do... Uh, click on the turn on button so that whenever I come online you will get a notification and uh, Also, if you are watching me from other places uh, do let me know on the comment section from where you're watching uh, I it, it feels good to know that uh, this videos are being blessing to many and uh, Apologies last week my video got interrupted and uh, I hope that today it will not uh, but trusting in God and what we have started, uh, we have to do in faith everything. And um, and uh, those who are praying me, many of you are asking me about the Bahrain visit. By God's grace, today uh, again we have submitted the forms uh, for the visa. Please pray uh, that it should be uh, approved. And we believe on Sunday uh, we'll see get a, get a news about regarding that and uh, hopefully on sunday we'll give an update on that also i need you who are watching me uh please pray because a great work has to be uh done in that place but uh, a lot of uh, problems but i believe that god is going to do something new god is going to uh, do something great in bahrain so if you know somebody from Bahrain, if you know somebody uh, who, who have some uh, relatives in Bahrain, you can inform them so I can meet them personally. Crowd is not an issue for me. It's all about doing the will of God. And whether it is one person or two person, we, there is Jesus and that's all is important. So before we enter into the word of God, uh, we'll pray. And I believe that this message is going to bless you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to that presence. Lord, I give these people who are watching me right now in the name of Jesus. I give today's word into the hand. Let this word be a blessing to them, Master. All the disturbance, all the plan of the devil, Lord, I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Lord, you're doing it for that. I thank you. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. I believe that uh, uh, you are expecting the Lord to speak from with you so today I will be sharing with you from Mark chapter 11 Mark chapter 12 verses 1 to 12 so if you have your Bible with you uh, do open your Bibles and uh, we'll read from Mark chapter 12 verses 1 to 12 and quickly I will share the message God has uh, told me to share with you and I believe that this message is going to speak with you. So Mark chapter 12 uh, verses 1 to 2. Farmers and moved to another country. At the time of grape harvest, he sent one of his servants to collect his share of the crop. But the farmers grabbed the servant, beat him up, and sent him back empty-handed. 
the owner then sent another servant and they insulted him and beat him over the head the next servant he sent was killed other he sent were either beaten or killed until there was only one left his son whom he loved dearly the owner finally sent him thinking surely they will respect my son but the tenants farmer said to one another here comes the heir of this the estate let's kill him and get the estate for ourselves so they grabbed him and murdered him and threw his body out of the vineyard what do you suppose the owner of the vineyard will do jesus asked i'll tell you he will come and kill those farmers and lease the vineyard to others didn't you ever read this this in the scripture the stone that the builders reject has now become the cornerstone this is the lord's doing it is wonderful to see the religious leader wanted to arrest jesus because they realized he was telling the story against them they were the wicked farmers but they were afraid of the crowd so they left him and went away here you can see that you know jesus always used the examples uh, you know daily everyday examples to teach the people about the kingdom of god and in this uh, parable about talents and uh, about this uh, farmers jesus was telling two things first thing the earth is god's and we are there to be stewards of it second we need to remember that the property is not ours and we are tenants of god's earth and we can use it on his terms many times when we live this life on this earth we think we own everything we think whatever we have it is ours i have earned it i have done the hard work but the reality is that we are living on borrowed time you and i are living because god has shown his grace and mercy upon us and given us one more chance to live and that's why you need to understand that god has given us this opportunity to live on this planet for a bigger reason and for that we have to be obedient to him we have to do everything thinking that there are people who wanted to have those things which we have but we have the grace of god that we got so many things and we are answerable to god for each and everything and when we read this parable you can understand that you know the the land owner represents the god and the vineyard uh, represents the kingdom of god and the tenants uh, are the religious leaders the farmers and uh, the servants which uh, the the owner sent they were the prophets and the son in the parable was jesus and the new tenants are the one that the church made up of jews and gentiles so this is what jesus was saying directly here you know that god entrusted his kingdom to the israelites during the old testament time when they went of course god sent the prophets to try to connect them most of the israelites they did not listen to the prophets and finally god decided to send his son jesus to make clear god's message but the religious leader turned against jesus and finally had him killed so god has put a new tenant in the vineyard his church so this is the message in this uh, in this word of god what we have read i always uh, believe in teaching or uh, in a way where people can understand it better where pe- people don't have to be confused is simple word of god is simple you yeah, have because because the thing is we make it complicated and uh, theologians make it complicated because they need to prove they know something but for me it is very important that what i share sh- you should be able to understand because i am a common man and you are a common person and i know how much you can grasp so so when i plan to teach you something or share something i always will prepare in a way which will make you understand but better so it is very important when you when you read the scripture that many times this is how our life is 
that you know god gives us something in our life god gives fills us with our blessings god gives us a good job god gives us a good family god gives us a good business god gives us a good church but what happened that instead of being a good steward we abuse it we don't think that we are answerable to god suddenly we think that we are the owner suddenly we think it is mine suddenly we think it is my kingdom but this is not our kingdom we are in the kingdom of god we are not here to make our kingdom we are not here to make the name our name because we you and i are here for a for a purpose to fulfill the great commission which jesus has given us to do but remember that god has a great plan and purpose for us and he never gives up gives up on upon us and many times we give up on god but god never gives up on us and that is the wonderful god we serve that is the that is the best thing about i love about jesus that how many times we fall we sin we we fall short of the glory of god but every time he he forgives us and you know he have mercy on us and that is what you and i need to have in our life many times we are when we live in this world we don't like rules and regulation we this earth is ours to live but we need to live on god's standard just for example uh, that uh, if you are watching any match cricket match football match or hockey whatever your sport is but if there are no rules you know you it that it will take away the excitement it will take away that uh, innocence of that game but that is what the rules had are to make the things better in a in a better way so when god gave us 10 commandments it was to regulate how to live uh, uh, in harmony how to live with god how to live in a better way often time we thinks that i want to do on my own i want to live a life like i want but that is not how we live we live as god ask us to live so when god gives you something when god gives you a place when god gives you a a job when god gives you a a a, a church or a ministry anything god gives you remember you have to be a good steward and do not abuse that position and that is what many people do and many time what happens because the people who are supposed to lead people who are supposed to fulfill the great commission people who are supposed to do the great work like king saul he was called to rule israel but because he was not faithful god took that position and gave it to david so that is how we need to be that we need to be very careful when god gives us anything when god gives us a blessings we should always see to bless somebody we should always see that when god gives us more we should always see that where you can invest in the kingdom of god because uh, earlier days when i was praying i holy spirit was uh, telling me something you know that whatever people spend here on earth for the kingdom of god will be remembered in heaven but how much money you have here in the bank it's of no use in the kingdom of god and uh, that has touched me a lot and that is principle my wife and i are carry we don't worry about tomorrow we don't think about uh, what we will eat or drink if we got something we need to use it for the kingdom of god we need to help somebody because jesus said tomorrow will worry about itself god is in control he will provide for tomorrow but when god gives you something use it for the kingdom of god and when you do that you will see that you were never ever lack in your life because god is in control the problem is we always live thinking about how we'll do instead of trusting upon god because in when we read matthew 6 it says it's the unbelievers you know who think about what they will eat what they will drink and what how they'll do the things we need to trust in god we we need to give everything in god's hand when when we do that we see the hand of god work and uh, how we cannot be like this tenants we don't want to be like the farmers who when they even though they enjoy everything even though they got the land they got everything the landlord has given but when it came to show when it came to share 
they just want you to took it on on their own but we don't need to be like that when god gives us a blessing it is a it, it he gives us to share and uh, he gives us to invest in the kingdom of god for the souls and that is the very important thing and when how we will not be able to see if we don't have the fruit of the spirit when we read galatians 5:22 to 25 it says the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self control against such things there is no law those who belong to jesus have crucified the sinful nature with its passion and desire since we live by the spirit let us keep in step with the spirit here we can see the qualities the fruit of the spirit you many people have love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness but they don't have self control others may have uh, uh, other things somebody missing in some place you cannot have uh, patience and but at the same time you don't have love you need to have this uh, fruits in your life then only you will not be able to become like these tenants or the farmers that you you will not make god angry that he will come and destroy you and give your land to somebody second thing is very important that you shouldn't cease to preach the gospel because it is your and mine the biggest commission biggest thing you and i need to do is to preach the gospel is to share the kingdom of god to share what jesus has done for you and me because that gives life because jesus said i am the way the truth and life nobody comes to the father but through me remember that god is in control there is no no good things he will withhold for those who walk righteously remember that god has a great plan for us whether you like it or not god wants to do a great thing for you god wants to change your situation god wants to give you uh, something that you know which you do not thought of all you have to do is trust in him all you have to do is uh, trust and give everything in his hands and when you do that you will see the hand of god work you will see that god is changing your situation you will see that god is preparing you in a position where you have never thought of all you have to do is be a steward in what god gives you if god gives you a small business be true and loyal to him if god gives you a, a big business be loyal and true to him all you have to do is that uh, you need to uh, you need to trust in god you need to oh, always rely upon god and when you do that when you do that you will see the hand of god work and you when you do that god has a great plan and purpose for you beloved remember if today you are listening to me whether it you are watching me live whether you are watching me in the rebroadcast remember that god he wants to have a relationship with you he doesn't want that uh, that you forget what god has done for you Rem never forget what god has done for you he sacrificed his only son for you so what this this parable means to you as an individual believer that real god wants you and i to live and to produce the fruit of the holy spirit that is what god wants you and i me to do and that is the message which god is using me to preach wherever i go that you and i need to bear fruit just being a christian it doesn't matter because fruit makes you special fruit makes you better fruit makes you uh, something special because you need to bear fruit and you need you need to give everything in god's hand and when god gives you uh, when god gives things in your life even you just have to trust in him remember once again that you and i are living here on rented on rent we are living we are living on borrowed time why to give praise and worship to the living god to grow in faith and to have the the fruit of the spirit in our life to use the talents to use the blessings to use the skill in the world for the benefit of the kingdom of god remember that god has a great plan for you god wants to do something great for you all you have to do is trust in him all you have to do is uh, worship him and when you do that you will see that hand of god working you will see the hand of god do, doing great thing in your life when you do that you, all you have to do is trust in him i want to tell you something whatever situation you are going through whatever situation 
you have gone through earlier days remember that something is going god is going to do in the coming days god is going to touch new lives in this year god is going to touch uh, the the arena where you god wants you to enter and when you do that god you will see the hand of god work you will see the hand of god touch and that is what is god wants to do because god has a great plan and purpose for you all you have to do is trust in him all you have to do is believe in him and when you do that you will see that god is blessing you god is touching you and what is whatever happens in your life remember that god is not done with you he who has begun a good work in you will neither sleep nor slumber remember that god is a god we worship a living god he has not called you and me so that we be become a mockery remember if god has called you remember that god is going to do something god it has a great plan and purpose for you and god is going to bless you and god is going to change your situation remember that whatever situation you are going through now is the time when we'll pray and god is going to touch you god is going to take do a great thing in your life all you have to do is trust in him all you have to do is uh, believes in him but if you do that you will see the hand of god work you will see that that god is going to do a great and wonderful thing in your life wherever you are whatever situation you are going through give yourself in god's hand and when you do that you will see the hand of god work you will see that your situation is to getting changed all you have to do is trust in him if you trust in him right be with me as we pray because god is going to change your situation god is going to touch your situation because when i was praying when i'm talking with you i can see situation is changing i can see that many people who are going through financial issues they are uh, god is uh, changing it all you have to do is trust in him and when you do that remember that uh, that the holy spirit who is there to minister you holy spirit is there to to anoint you all you have to do is trust in him and when you do that you will be able to see the hand of god work and as we pray remember that whatever situation you're going through is going to change together we will see a great miracle together we will see the hand of god enlightening your life together we'll see that god is going to going to share it and change it let us pray father in the name of jesus we come to that presence lord i give their life into thy hand their situation into thy hands master all the plans of devil i cancel it in the name of jesus lord i give their lives into thy hand master their situations into thy hand master all the plans of devil i cancel it in the name of jesus lord i cover each and every person who are watching me including my family members relative friends loved ones everyone with your blood seal them with your word with your holy fire i cover it all the plans of devil i cancel it in the name of jesus lord i give this people into thy hands master their lives into thy hands their profession life into thy hands master lord you're doing it for that i thank you lord you're doing it for that i thank you the spirit of the lord is telling me that this is the week where you are going to see a great work of god next week by this time many of you who are seeking jobs god is going to bless you with new jobs there are there are supernatural miracles are going to happen in your life many things which you're praying for months and years you will see the hand of god change many of the situation that you're thinking that nothing is going to happen for the spirit of the lord is saying that the holy spirit is working and as the spirit of the spirit of god was hovering over the water before god created everything same way the spirit of god is working in your situation that the loan over your life is going to be removed in the name of jesus that sickness in your life is going to be removed in the name of jesus that the financial crisis brought by the devil over your life to to hamper your spiritual growth i cancel it in the name of jesus all the work of the devil working against your family life working against your marital life i cancel it in the name of jesus lord i give this people into thy hand lord 
I give these people into thy hand, the lives into thy hand, the, the all the struggles you are struggling in your finance, I remove it, I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Receive the, the, the deliverance in the name of Jesus because the work of the Holy Spirit is going on. Holy Spirit is working. Holy Spirit is changing your situation. Just receive your miracle. Just receive your miracle. If you have a problem, wherever you have a problem, if you have a sickness in your ear or eyes, just keep your hand over it. I'm going to pray for it specifically. Just keep your hand where you're suffering. If you're having body ache, just keep your hand on your head. If you have body ache or just eye ache, any issues, just keep your right hand and I'm going to pray for you. I believe God is going to heal many tonight. I believe that God is going to heal somebody here right now. Just believe because ask and it shall be given unto you. Seek and you shall find. The Spirit of the Lord says that be healed in the name of Jesus. The Spirit of the God is moving. It is touching. I can see the people in cheer. I can see the, the power of the repentant spirit is working on you. Just repent of your sin. If God is showing you sins in your life, repent because of your sins. You have jeopardized your family. You have jeopardized your career because of sins. You have destroyed God's plan in your life. But the Spirit of the Lord is telling that He is the God of second chance he is not done with you he is not going to leave you or abandon you he still waits for you if you come back if you wish to come back come back because god has a great plan for you god wants to touch your life god wants to do a great work in your life all you have to do is give yourself in god's hand and when you do that you will see the hand of god work you will see the hand of god work you will see the hand of god work i can see a country or a place called nashville uh, and uh, if you are watching me, somebody from Nashville, uh, God has a great plan for you and to bring a revival in your place. There is, a, uh, again, I see a place, Tennessee, and God is going to do something in Tennessee also. If you are watching me, receive it and pray for your place because God is going to to do a great thing in your life god is going to do a great work in your life receive your healing receive his, receive your healing somebody heart you have a blockage in your heart but i can see the spirit of god is just operating and removing that blockage in the name of jesus receive that healing in the name of jesus because god is touching your situation god is just removing that situation from your life receive it in the name of jesus there is a, a person you're watching you're pregnant six months pregnant pregnant but there is some complications the doctor is saying some complications and he wants to you to have a, a cesarean as soon as possible but spirit of the lord says a miracle is going to take place today at this time as you're watching me receive your miracle because god is going to do great thing god is going to do great thing there is nothing impossible for god there is nothing impossible for god last week when one sister she called me and she told me that all of a sudden you know the the water in the bore well has stopped coming and this is the time for for farming and and i felt in my spirit and i said tomorrow morning you will have water in the bore well and they had the water in the bore well in the morning remember there is nothing impossible for god there is nothing impossible for god all you have to do is just believe if you believe you will see the hand of god work in your life if you believe you will see the resurrection power to work in your life in your career in your in your profession in your marital life if you think that your son is a fool if you think that your kid is a fool he's not good in studies it is because you say things to him that you are a fool but when you start to say a good words over your children you will see the hand of god work because you're prophesying indirectly to your child you are a fool you are of no use and that is what devil is using and making your child into bless your kids and tell them they are the best kids in this planet and you will see that the uh, something great is happening in your child do not worry about your child give your child in god's hand because god has given that child and god there is nothing impossible for god and god is going to do great thing in your child's life is he's going to pass with good marks and you will see the hand of god work in his life all you have to do is trust in him believe in him and tell him all always tell your kids that whatever happens i am with you you are my son you are my daughter nothing is gonna change my love for you and that is what we need as a parent to tell our kids 
that you know whatever situation may happen you will always be my best son you will always be my best daughter and no thing you whether you have pass or fail whether you are who do anything my love for you will, will never change and that is what god wants you and i to have that type of relationship with our family and because if we do not love the people whom we see we are hypocrites if we say that we love god remember this if you're watching me and you're not talking to your sister you're not talking to your brother you're not talking with your parents you are a hypocrite if you're telling that i love god i worship god in Lord, you're doing it for that. I thank you. Lord, you're doing it for that. I thank you. All the work of the devil, I cancel it. All the work of the devil, I cancel it. Lord, I give their life into thy hand, their, their ministries into thy hand, their professional life into thy hand, their spiritual life into thy hand. I decree and declare, Master, new homes over their life in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare new good salaried job over their life in the name of Jesus. People whose visas have not been renewed renewed and having issues with visa i cancel it in the name of jesus lord you're doing it for that i thank you lord you're doing it for that i thank you those pills lord which they're taking which is destroying their body i remove it from their body in the name of jesus i speak heavenly health wisdom and knowledge upon their body in the name of jesus holy spirit you're doing it for that i thank you holy spirit you're doing it for that i thank you lord do great things in your in their life Lord, do great things in their life. Lord, you're doing it for that. I thank you. Lord, you're doing it for that. I thank you. Lord, I bless these people. Let there be no lack in their paths, Master. If there is delay in your coming, help us to meet for your kingdom's glory. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. I believe that uh, today's message has blessed you. And uh, I believe this uh, prophetic time is blessing you to come more closer to God. I'm so sorry for the all the disturbance because of the internet and uh, cell and God's willing soon uh, all these things will be taken care of and we trust in God that he will take care of all our situation and uh, so do keep us in your prayers and uh, I believe that God is going to change your situation something great is going to happen next Thursday um, if there is the delay in God's coming, um, I will be in, uh, in Bahrain. Uh, just we are praying for the uh, visa to be approved. But if it is approved, we'll be taking tickets immediately and we'll be going on Thursday, it's 14th of Feb. And um, so Valentine days, my wife and I will be uh, traveling. And But uh, it is good to travel for the Lord and uh, it's all about uh, it's all about god <clears throat> it's all about the kingdom of god so please keep uh, bahrain ministry in your prayer specifically for visa as soon as visa comes surely we'll inform you so do click on uh, the uh, turn on the notification so that you will get the notification whenever we'll come online same thing do like the page invite all your friends to like this page so that they will also be blessed and uh, send you can send your prayer request uh, through the application and just uh, download my application it is available on google play store and uh, apple just type evans francis and uh, you can send your prayer request we would love to pray for it and we will reply you personally and do check out my youtube channel and because we are posting videos over there also and don't 
don't forget to leave a feedback on the comment section i believe this will encourage me also so join me next week same day same time if i'm not going to Bahrain, and if i'm going i will surely update you and maybe from there i will be coming live so but whatever time i'll come but you need to uh, turn on the notification then only you will be notified so may god bless you may his face shine upon you may he give all the desires of your heart and in this coming days you will see the hand of god change the situation which is struggling from a long time in jesus precious name we pray amen may god bless you shalom